Leonardo da Vinci's paddle boat. The function of the paddle boat was fairly easy. Sailors would use the pedals to turn the paddle wheels into the water to make the boat move rapidly. To increase the power of the rowers, cog wheels and gears were to be used to multiply the number of revolutions of the paddles. How he got the idea was from the movement of fish. The paddles are shaped like fins to gain speed and move. It led to other future successful boats like the steamboat by John Finch that was made in 1787 and the motorboat which was made by Tene Lenore also known as Joel in 1858. Hey, it's Kelsey. I'm in my bathroom right now and I'm going to be testing my paddle boat. Um, okay, so this right here, this is my paddle boat that I made. It's different than what the prototype looks like, obviously. Um, it's different because I have a rubber band that moves the wheels once I wind it up and let go. I still have a rudder which steers the boat whenever it's going to be in the water. Um, I had to do it differently because I couldn't get any cog wheels or gears and I wasn't able to use uh, pedals because it's too small to maneuver and keep it go to keep the boat going. So it's not exactly what I'm explaining but this is the best I can do. Alright, um, so what I have right here, I have the paddle wheels right here, which obviously all of it's basically made out of wood, <laughs> and then usually right here would be the pedals, and then the cog wheels in, uh, and the gears would be right here or with the pedals. Um, the rubber band basically represents what the pedal would almost be like in a way. And then right here I have the rudder which I put two nails right here so it doesn't turn all the way around and I have a nail right here so it would steer the boat with whatever way the rudder goes with this little thing right here which is also like a fish's tail as I said before um... okay so this is completely made out of wood and I'm ready to test it so let's put it in the water to see if it floats Okay. So it floats. Now, let's see if it can go straight. Well, first I gotta turn the rudder around, so let's keep it on straight and let's wind this up. Make sure we don't break the rubber band now. Alright. Now, what I have to do is I have to let go to let it move. Alright, let's do this. There we go. It moved a little bit. Da Vinci was known for many inventions and ideas, including the paddle boat. The paddle boat would have been very helpful for travel since the function was fairly simple and had rapid speed if used correctly. Although this may be true, the idea still led to some of the greatest boats here today.